If you've ever been lucky enough to get away from the bright lights of the city and go out to the countryside, you'll know that the night sky is full of stars. We can see roughly about a billion stars in the night sky, but this is only the tip of the iceberg of what's really out there. There are many objects in the sky that to our own eyes look just like simple blurs. This is one of them. However, using telescopes we can get a much better view of this object. Using larger and more powerful telescopes, more and more detail begins to come available to us. And what we can see is not just a small smudge anymore, but a beautiful object. It's a disk full of stars and gas and dust, which we call a galaxy. This is a galaxy called Andromeda, much like our own galaxy. Galaxies are incredibly interesting to scientists. They can tell us a lot about the universe, how it started, how old it is, where it came from and where it's going to. Luckily for us, there's no shortage of these objects in the night sky. If we look at a region of the sky which appears empty at first, apart from a few stars, and magnify it larger and larger using bigger and bigger telescopes, eventually we'll see that the entire region of the sky is filled with galaxies. And this one tiny patch, which is about the area you would cover with a grain of sand held at arm's length, there are roughly a thousand galaxies. Imagine how many that means there is in the entire night sky. These galaxies come in lots of different shapes and sizes. These are images of just a few of them. We can broadly categorize these though into two different categories. We call them spirals and ellipticals. Spiral galaxies tend to be very pretty. They're disks, flat like an egg, with a centre, which we call the bulge, which is tend to be in the middle, and beautiful spiral arms going, emanating from there. Elliptical galaxies tend to be much larger and are quite boring to look at. These are just large round balls of stars floating in space. Sometimes you see galaxies which don't look like either a spiral or an elliptical. These galaxies look like they're somehow being ripped apart or they're going through a very violent process. If you look at the core of these galaxies called the antenna galaxies, we can see that actually it looks as if there's two galaxies there rather than just one. What could be going on here? Well, computer simulations might give us the answer. Here we see what might happen if two galaxies smash together. Notice how as they come too close to each other, they rip each other apart, producing beautiful large tails, just like we saw in the antenna galaxies. Eventually, these two galaxies will smash together and form one larger galaxy. One of the best places to learn about galaxies and how they change and form are where we can find lots of galaxies close together. This is a cluster of galaxies known as the Coma Cluster, and it's the one that you'll be studying. 